Hey everyone, uh, so I'm back again for another video. I noticed that I did not have an NES collection video put up yet, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys my NES collection. Now I'm going to start out with uh, two Famicom games that I have first, uh, then go into my boxed NES collection, and then my cartridge only NES collection. I also have a couple manuals, but uh, those are not really going to be seen in this video. Um, they're just a couple of loose manuals for games that I don't have yet, and a couple for the cartridge-only games that I have, but, um, that's fine, that's for another time. If you really want to see the manuals that I have as well, just let me know, and I'll make a video covering that as well. So, the Famicom games first. Now, I actually found this here. It is a Famicom to NES adapter, and it also has, um, a sort of, a fake Chinese multi-cart, I suppose, and it has a whole bunch of games on it. It has uh, 76 uh, games on one cartridge. Now, um, th these two here, they work whenever they, s they they seem to want to work, but they don't always work. And it's funny because the company, or at least the branding on here says quality, that which it is not. Um, but yeah, that's a whole other story. Uh, next up, my only proper Famicom game is this here. It's called Barcode World. Uh, it plays using the uh, handheld there called the Barcode Battler. Uh, and it comes with a cable uh, to connect the Barcode Battler to your Famicom. Uh, a stack of cards with barcodes on them to swipe uh, and use them in the game and the cartridge itself and I got this recently in an eBay uh, package and you can see that in its own video next up my boxed NES games uh, nothing too special for the most part and then a couple of classics uh, so first off here is Adventures of Tom Sawyer All Pro Basketball this one I only got it for like $1.99 I'm not really willing to spend more than two dollars on any sports game, really. Uh, Castlevania II: Simon's Quest, the cruddiest of all Castlevania games, apparently for the NES. That is, um, I still liked it. Now, a really cruddy game, but it's so bad that it's funny, uh, at least in my opinion and uh, in other people's opinions probably as well uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde another cruddy game Fester's Quest The Legend of Kage I am told that's how you pronounce that uh, at first I was just calling it The Legend of Cage but I was told it's The Legend of Kage Next up, I guess the shining jewel in my boxed NES collection, and that is uh, the Legend of Zelda Classic Series uh, version. This one is the gray cartridge and not the gold cartridge. The only downside to this is that even though from the front it looks like it's in really good condition and it has that shine to it still, in the back it's torn right across there. But at least the the uh, the top of the box is still there. I was gonna say the cover, but yeah, the top of the box is still there at least. Uh, just three more box games here: Shingen or Shinjin the Ruler, another classic for the for the system, Super Mario Bros. Three, and the last one here, Tetris. Uh, next up is my cartridge only collection. So everything's in alphabetical order here. First up is 720. Uh, Adventures of Dino Riki. Astyanax. Back to the Future. Batman. Cabal. Captain Skyhawk. Uh, Commando Dash Galaxy in the Alien Asylum. <laughs> Some of these names are just epic, and the artwork on them is just hilarious. Um, Release the Power Demon Sword. 
Destination Earth Star, Dick Tracy, Donkey Kong Classics, and this one is kind of dirty, but I should probably get around to cleaning that. Uh, Double Dragon 3, Dragon's Lair, this one actually feels kind of heavy. Dr. Mario, the first Final Fantasy, I wish I had the other ones as well, but that's actually the only uh, Final Fantasy cartridge game that I have, uh, Hydlide, and I actually like this game, even though a lot of people say it's uh, not good, and a ripoff of The Legend of Zelda, I still liked it, uh, Infiltrator, just terrible game. Uh, Jack Nicholas greatest 18 holes of major championship golf. And then to the first pile here, Legacy of the Wizard. <laughs> Next is an even bigger pile here. Um, Gold Cartridge, Legend of Zelda. Gold Cartridge, Zelda 2, Adventure of Link. Next up is Mega Man 3. And sadly, it is the only Mega Man NES game that I have. Wish I had more. Mylon's Secret Castle. Mystery Quest. Operation Wolf. Pinbot. Platoon. Pro Wrestling, Rocket Ranger, actually that is an absolutely terrible game, to be honest, Russian Attack, uh, now this here is a really, uh, not a really rare game, it, it, it's a valuable and uncommon game, um, but it is also brutally hard uh, and, uh, yep, yeah, it has a weird name, too. It's called SCAT. Uh, it's Special Cyber, uh, Cybernetic Attack Team. It's by Natsumi, uh, or Natsume, however you want to say it. And, um, it's a shooter, and it's just, well, a shoot em up and it's very, very hard. I've only been able to get to, like, the second or third level of it. I haven't been able to get much further. Uh, next up is Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt World Class Track Meet, because of course everybody has either that or Mario Bros. Duck Hunt or both. The Simpsons Bart vs. Space Mutants, The Simpsons Bart vs. The World, uh, TNC Surf Designs Wood and Water Rage. I don't know, a surfing game. Tetris 2. Time Lord. I actually really like this game. Um, I have to say the platforming is more or less good. I just have no idea what's going on with the story and where I'm supposed to actually go at the end of the second level. I seem to always get stuck at the end of the second level. But I still enjoy playing it. Uh, Total Recall, just another licensed movie uh, movie game, and it's just not that great. Uh, Wall Street Kid, Willow. I have actually not played this yet, and I have not seen the movie yet. Uh, even though I did pick up the movie recently, a brand new copy of it too. Uh, but I have not played the game or seen the movie. Uh, Wizards and Warriors with some crazy sort of warrior and a wizard on the cover of it. How surprising. Not at all. Uh, Wrath of the Black Manta. And the last game in my collection here is Yoshi. Uh, that's my entire NES collection. It's at about, 
uh, 55 games, I believe, in total, uh, including boxed and cartridge-only games. Um, if there's anything else you'd like to see, any other collection videos, or anything else at all from me, just let me know in the comment section below. Uh, anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, just leave them in the comment section, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, check out my website, my Twitter, my Facebook. They're all in the description below, and that's it. See ya.